You're back. I was really worried there. Nothing to it. Are you hurt? You don't have to worry about me. Salve a tutti. Siamo appena tornati da Avisa per decidere cosa fare. È il caso di andare a cercare altri sopravvissuti. Yeah. Odessa said she wanted to go back to the boat to see if she could get anything useful out of it. After that, who knows? What will you do? Are you coming with us? That's the case. Don't forget to get us too when you're done setting up the colony. Hey. I wanted to see new things. Breathe new air, you know? I've been on Luna my entire life. Always looking up to see Earth. So I wanted to visit a planet of my own. Well, wait a bit around here and I'll heal up. Since you cleared out those fire bears, we can get to our ship and see if we can salvage anything. You coming with us? Really? I'm so glad Gertie's okay. I've been so worried. We should head that way when we get the chance. Thank you for telling me. Well, what do you expect? I'm surprised the Martian government agreed at all to cooperate with Earth on the colonization initiative. It's only been a few years since the last war. The mistress was palpable on board the Epiphany. Just leave her be. I'm separated from my family, my friends, and my colleagues. On top of that, I'm stuck with a bunch of Earthlings, no offense. What the hell do you think? I'll probably go with Lau and see how it goes. Even though I don't trust Earthlings, these two are good people. We do have to gather up the survivors somehow. I don't know the exact facts, but I can guess. Stuff from Earth breaks, obviously. If it had been a Martian ship, it would have gotten no more than a scratch. If it had been a Martian crew in the cockpit, this wouldn't have happened. Hell, even a belt crew. Prima di proseguire nella foresta, torniamo un attimo all'accampamento di Carter, Chen deve mostrarmi una sorpresa. Maledetto. Fu la tua musica di merda e lo sviluppatore cinese che ha deciso di non levartela. Fai in fretta che ho da fare e voglio mantenere intatti i miei timpani. Carter. Oh, Crinito, Escotino, Pur, Mostri. Si lo vai e mostro più croca su. Scusami, potresti ripetere? Cioè, non sai come funge e l'hai fatto tu? No provi. Dai i biscottino, croca su. E certo. Tu fai il biscottino, io ci metto culo e se funge funge. Tanto se no funge il mio culo e su braccio non il tuo. Tra l'altro manco me lo hai dato gratis lo script. Te l'ho dovuto comprare. Uno di questi rinoceronti sarebbe perfetto da cavalcare. Gli animali cavalcabili sono una delle ultime caratteristiche aggiunte al gioco. Con questa aggiunta credo che la patea voglia avvicinare parte della gente interessata a dar. Con questo video rilascerò una nuova versione della traduzione che comprende, oltre agli ultimi aggiornamenti della trama, anche la traduzione delle abilità e degli status alterati sia degli NPC sia del giocatore. Ho anche tradotto alcune frasi e corretto numerosi errori che avevo lasciato nelle versioni precedenti. Alcuni di questi sono anche visibili in questo gameplay, ma dovrei averli corretti dopo aver fatto le riprese. Se trovate altre cavolate nella traduzione in ogni caso non esitate a contattarmi. Altra cosa che conto di fare è cercare di contattare qualche youtuber italiano grosso che possa far conoscere un po' di più questo gioco. Visso. Ballo. Biscottino. Dannato umano che stai montando questo video. Pure il loquendo cinese sei riuscito ad usare per rendermi Chen ancora più antipatico. Comunque questo è un esempio di animale cavalcato. Per cavalcare un animale è necessario almeno dimezzare i suoi punti vita prima di usare il biscotto per mostri premendo e, ed avendone almeno uno in inventario. Per creare questo biscotto è necessario usare vari ingredienti, molti ottenibili con l'agricoltura. 
Tra gli ingredienti figura anche il sangue velenoso, che si ottiene uccidendo i mostri dopo aver fatto la chiacchierata di prima con Chan. L'animale cavalcato potrà essere pilotato come un veicolo e potrà attaccare con gli attacchi tipici della sua specie. Per scendere basta ripremere e per risalire sarà necessario utilizzare un altro biscotto. Ora addentriamoci nella foresta. Beh, la grafica di questo gioco non sarà modernissima, ma come vedete gli effetti grafici sono comunque suggestivi. Delle persone. Meglio avvicinarle. Hey, hold it right there. Chi diavolo sei? È un terrestraccio. Muoviti e morirai. Andiamo. Porco di... E qui. Muori. Scappiamo. Follow me. We're out of here. Ehi! Hey. Ma che cavolo erano quei cosi? They attacked our camp and took some of our people. Damn it! These things were not in the reports. This is bad. They displayed clear intelligence. I didn't want to believe it at first. We still need to go after them. They took off with three of our friends. Let's get back to camp and regroup first. You worthlings are such low-life scum. Taking advantage of a situation like this? Fine. I'll give you a flare gun. Take it or leave it. All right. Follow. Mi sa che per i nostri cari fascistelli marziani si mette male. Questi sono più grossi e più muscolosi di voi, oltre ad essere decisamente ben dotati come spadoni. Come dicevate? Ah sì. Gli immigrati a casa loro. M. Gli immigrati qui siamo noi. Come la mettiamo? Look! Tariq! Where are the others? Who's... They... didn't make it. We were ambushed by one of the aliens and... This person here helped me escape. We're gonna go pick up some supplies and go after the others. Thanks for helping to recant. Can I help you? What more is there to tell? Look around. We were completely unprepared for such an attack, so we pretty much got stomped. Luckily, Nan and Tariq put up a decent fight, so the aliens left after they only captured three people. Tariq and a couple of others tried to give chase and, well, you know the rest. It was kind of chaotic at the time and we were panicking, so I I'm not sure. I didn't find any blood trails around here, so we probably didn't get a hit in. They kept moving around, too. Look, there are some grumblings around our camp that the Earth crew initiated the crash on purpose. Most of the Martian colonists were seated right by the lifeboats below deck when the ship started listing. Most of the Martians escaped on the boats, leaving the Epiphany in the hands of the Earthlings. Not really. What purpose does it serve? Most of us left the Soul System because we were sick of the militarization of everything. Sure, there are still some nut-headed nationalists around, but... Most of us just want a peaceful life. Or at least I hope so. No, you're the first one actually. Our lifeboat had 10 people on it. We were getting ready to head north in the direction of the Epiphany before we were attacked. Sure, here are five compressed biscuits. Don't go hungry out there. That'll negatively affect your stamina. Be 
careful out there. Yeah? We're going to head northeast. That's the way they went when we were chasing after them. This continent isn't that big, so logically, they're probably not that far off. I... I don't know. I've seen all the early zoological and biological reports from our deep space probes, but we never found these creatures at all. And mind you, our probe technologies were pretty damn good. Ultra HD cameras, sensitive spectrometers, magnometers, infrared cameras, the whole shebang. There were some structure-like objects on the Newton continent that had us guessing, but there just weren't enough evidence to suggest anything. Of course, the probe carrying the exploration robots crashed during the landing, so that might have had something to do with it as well. Are you suggesting the reason for the radio interferences are the aliens? It is a point worth considering. However, they looked like they were just emerging from the Iron Age. I highly doubt that they'd be able to create anything advanced enough to scramble electronic data. I'm a zoologist. Almost all the species on Earth and Europa have already been documented. What else can I do but travel far away? I love my job after all. I don't have much, but here's a stun gun screen. It doesn't do too much damage, but it might just keep you alive. Hi. Huh? That's great to hear. Adis is a cool cat. I bet she's trying to figure out how to make the lifeboat into an Atmos skipper right about now. <laughs> I'd invite her and her group to join us, but some of the people here won't like that. Just so you know, I'm cool with you guys. I never got why we fought in the first place. We're all humans, especially now. You saw one, right? They're huge, easily over three meters. About four of them attacked our camp right when we were having chow. They were using weapons too, broke through our barriers like nothing. Oh yeah! They attacked from different directions to confuse us and were communicating throughout the battle. Perché non ti fidi di me? Volevo fidarmi della terra, sono andato a studiare persino in una delle sue università, ma ho trovato le persone più arroganti e razziste dell'universo. È stato il periodo peggiore della mia vita. Come posso dopo tutto questo? Qual è il tuo atteggiamento? Dovresti essere grato che ti parli. Dimmi di più sugli alieni. Ci hanno attaccato. Fine. Bene. In pratica devo riunire in un unico insediamento una banda di fascisti, in un mondo pieno di alieni alti, muscolosi e megadotati che hanno rapito tre dei nostri e che ci hanno già spanato il culo due volte. Meglio andare a dormire e pensare domani okay. come liberare i nostri tre compagni dalle mani nemiche. Arrivederci alla prossima.